Well, welcome back. Uh, today's project is a snowmobile torque arm. Uh, it's got a mushed up spline on the other end. So we're going to uh, create one like that and weld it back in. I've already went through the process of cutting the welds. Get this piece out. So you can see where the spline is, uh, is damaged. So we're going to make a new piece, uh, press it back into the, uh, the tubing and uh, weld it around. We got our chicken scratch drawing ready to go with uh, the main specs we're going to need. We're going to be cutting a 22 tooth spline on this later, so we'll get the rotary table out on the mill. Uh, for right now, it's just going to be lathe work, get the part rough down to, uh, to the major dimensions. So, first things first, we get this faced off and get a center hole in it. Stock, so we're going to go an inch and a half, we'll cut it down to an inch and a quarter and then finish to do uh, the other diameters.
dimension. Okay, so 1.312 is our next dimension. We'll bring that down to 960. Okay, what's next? So we got our blank roughed out, uh, we're doing the setup on the rotary table to cut the 22 splines. So it's a 90 to 1 table, so we take our 22 divided into 90, we get 4 turns. We have a remainder of 2, so we put that over our, our spline number, which is 22. I don't have a 22 hole plate, and I don't have an 11 hole plate, but I do have 33, so we'll go 3 holes on a 33 uh, plate, and we get our splines done. We figured out our major and minor diameters on the uh, spline and works out our depth of cut is 40,000. So we'll get it set up and uh, finish cutting the spline. So we're set up here now. We have our part in our rotary table squared up on, squared up on the middle table. It rings aligned. And we get our cutter set to center height. We've already established our zero at the back. See if I can get that. Sorta. Of. So then we'll run our we'll run our cutter in our forty thou depth and make our twenty two splines. Okay, let's do it. Let's get some cutting on.
this last one we're leaving as a, uh, a key to align the uh, aluminum pivot point when it's all put back together. So this is our completed spline. We left one blank for a key because it aligns it in the aluminum uh, pivot arm. Uh, the one our customer supplied, a little bit of damage on it, and of course the phone rings. But it does fit. Well, that's just mom. We're going to ignore that one. But I do have a, a newer one in good shape here. She fits right in, so we're good to go. So these splines have to be at a certain angle to the torque arm. So what we're doing is we're using a mill table. We'll align our original one, then we'll uh, we'll clamp our original one. Sorry, then we'll align this one, and uh, then we'll go weld it in place. So here's a completed repair. We've got uh, we've got orange paint today because red is scarce, but we've got a good spline made for them. Uh, there's very little play. Once the clamp bolt tightens on it, it'll be fine anyway. And you get a there's an idle wheel and a space that go behind here. We did a shock rebuild for him as well and a revolving to make it a little stiffer because he likes to carry two people at times. And once he gets this reinstalled in the sled, he should be good to go. Well, this is the end of another video. Uh, we got our spline job done. Hopefully, our customer is going to be happy with it and uh, and uh, and what. That's why you make notes so you don't get tongue-tied. I'm not sure if these kind of videos are actually interesting to you. Uh, it just shows how I take machining and apply it to the different types of machines I get to fix here. They're certainly not meant to be instructional, and more so just a glimpse into the kind of work that I get to do. Uh, machining is not the number one thing for me here, it's it started as a hobby and it's slowly growing more commercial I guess. Uh, so hopefully you see a bit more uh, interesting work in uh, videos to come. Uh, just a note on subscribers, I, uh, I've seen a big jump in subscribers lately and I find it uh, quite amazing that there's almost 400 people that uh, want to see these videos to tell you the truth. Uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, the comments are overwhelmingly positive. Uh, and it just makes a fellow want to share a little more, so hopefully in future I'll get some more interesting stuff for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in the next one.